<coughs> Hi. I've seen on the news where Edward Snowden has received that threat. Well, people want to kill him. And it seems that uh, some of these who have threatened to kill him are paid by the American government. Now, there is something wrong when a agent is willing to kill an American who, in my opinion, has done great services for our country by exposing what uh, these agencies have done illegally and against the Constitution. Now, we all know none of them will go to jail just like the bankers and real estate brokers didn't go to jail. In fact, our government funded them to keep doing what they have done in the past. And the laws that Congress and the Senate have passed are not strong enough. Bring back Glass-Siegel and maybe it won't happen again provided Congress or the Senate doesn't tamper because of those people uh, in Washington who sell out the American people daily. You know who I'm talking about. Those companies, right, former congressmen and senators, lobbyists, who uh, are willing to sell to the highest bidder our Constitution and Americans rights under the Constitution. Now, in my opinion, outlaw lobbyists said any senator or congressman who uh, revokes Glass-Siegel to jail because they are proving that they are anti-American. Just like some of those agencies have proven, in my opinion, thanks to uh, Edward Snowden, that they are anti-Constitution, anti-American, and are willing to use violent means to make their point. And that shouldn't be in a democracy. All people have the right to speak. Why didn't Congress and the Senate you know, uh, pass a law protecting whistleblowers. Why? So people like Edward Snowden would be considered criminals, even though they are doing America and our Constitution a favor. They are protecting our constitutional rights, Edward Snowden and people like him. Because if we don't have some protection, then what good is Congress and the Senate? What good is democracy if certain groups working in the government are willing to overturn our Constitution and ignore it? And the Supreme Court, I shudder to think of all those things they have done which is, in my mind, unconstitutional. Because when you overturn laws that protect civil rights, you are a criminal. And I don't care if you're a Supreme Court justice. You are a criminal, in my mind, and under the Constitution, when you take away civil liberties, when you make companies uh, persons, well, hell, if they're persons, let them pay taxes as the American middle class pay taxes. Everybody should pay taxes like the American middle class pays taxes. You pass laws to shrink the middle class by sending jobs overseas and suppose it free trade? No. Free trade is... Uh, slaving Americans and taking away good jobs. That's what all the free trade uh, bargains have done.
all you have to do is look at history, the evidence why people don't have jobs today. Is it that our government is against the American people? I mean, they give welfare to uh, huge companies, but when it comes to the American people, oh God, no, that'll make them uh, dependent. Well, you made companies dependent. Why do oil companies get tax breaks? They shouldn't get it. They're making such huge profits. If I made a huge profit, would you give me a tax break? Probably. Because then I would have money to give you underneath the table. And that's a shame that our American democracy is for sale. That it can be ignored by parts of the government that gives an oath to uphold the Constitution. Why do you take away voting laws? Why do you make it hard for people to vote? You are taking away our democracy. When you take away our right to choose, you are telling me that you think you're better than God because God gave man free will to choose. He didn't say he was going to choose for us, though I wish God would have, because then you wouldn't be doing those illegal things. You wouldn't be breaking the Constitution of the United States and getting away with it. There are a lot of people that need to be locked up that are in government. And not just those two Republicans, I'm talking about a lot of elected officials that are not willing to uphold the Constitution, who are not willing to guarantee our rights under the Constitution. You, in my mind, are the criminals, not Edward Snowden. He's a patriot, unlike you, who are willing to sell out the American people for the dollar. When will Congress and the Senate pass an immigration bill that's fair to all? When will they revamp the tax system where everybody pays the same amount? Not just the middle class paying the highest percentage. If you are a true American, you will do these things. You will provide jobs to the American people. You will not pass these free trade agreements which take good jobs from America and plant them overseas so the rich can get richer while the poor get poorer. That's what's happening today in America. Our civil rights are being violated by our own government. And I hope the people start to wake up and protest. Make sure that our Congress and Senate provide jobs, rebuild this country, and stop the bickering. Stop trying to take away our voting rights. Stop taking away our rights. Period. You should be guaranteeing our rights. That's why you were elected. Not to play games, which you are playing in the Congress and the Senate. Start working for the American people and not special interest groups. Because until then, you are not representing the American people.